Levon Calimera, Paris to Bode. I will continue um, in English, even if my wife is Greek, but next year I promise I will do it in Greek. So my name is uh, Frederick Shilton. I'm uh, working at Mindel as a solution marketing manager on on-site portfolio. So today I'm going to present you the uh, Mindel Clouding strategy and uh, some Internet of Things scenario. Um, so this morning we spoke about digital transformation. So this is, again, this is not a buzzword. This is real. This is al already happening. And one, one way to uh, enable this digital transformation, especially for our customers, is uh, to bring uh, a new layer, which is CloudLink, uh, to bring a path to the future to uh, enable this digital transformation in order to move them from the on-site to their on-premise uh, system to business productivity and to application. So this is about uh, uh, clouding, so this is, this is what I'm going to describe now. So if we look at, um, at the cloud space, so uh, Mitel is making everything um, cloud capable. We are moving to the cloud. We, we just acquired Shortel, so we are absolutely moving to this uh, new space, which is, which is cloud. Nevertheless, so we have, um, we have um, a solution for public cloud. We have solution for private cloud. Uh, but we have to move uh, our huge install base, um, on-site install base, to the cloud. And there is a combination between uh, on-site and cloud link. And that will lead us to uh, what we call the hybrid, uh, hybrid cloud. So the, the, the goal here is uh, to protect uh, customer investment. Uh, the idea is not to rip and replace uh, their existing <coughs> investment. Uh, the, the idea here is uh, to move them smoothly to the cloud and to get benefit of um, new features, new application, and that could be deployed easily and, uh, and smoothly and, um, and with, with um, no cost. I, I mean, not no cost, less cost. So why are we doing this? Why are we? Why is it so strategic for for Mitel? Because this is all about application. Maybe I should say apps because we are mobile. We are more and more mobile, and the, in the future we will use our uh, mobile phone as a business phone. So clouding is our way to uh, to deliver this uh, this next generation of application. And it's also a way to move our customers to the cloud, smoothly. And why we are doing this is also because historically we had different variants of cool control, uh, depending on the region, depending on the market, uh, depending, depending on, on various acquisi acquisition. We, had, we have several cool control. And this is, this is um, our install base. And uh, each time we want to invest or move to application, we have to deploy call control by call control the application. We have to develop by call control our application. And this has a cost. This is, uh, this is um, we did it, we did it as a cost. So one way to uh, simplify this and to move forward is to get uh, a, next, a next layer, which is CloudLink. So the idea here, is to bring um, a CloudLink platform, which is obviously in the cloud, and to uh, push all the application on, on the cloud, on, on, on the cloud platforms. And each call control will have access to these uh, CloudLink platforms in order to uh, get access to those apps. So the, the idea here is, uh, is to re-leverage application innovation into legacy platforms. So again, no rip and replace. The idea is to move forward and to push all, all our investment into application and apps, um, and where in the past we were more investing in the call control. Of course, we'll keep our, our uh, investment, we'll keep our, our platform, but again, the shift will be more um, towards application. So again, this is about uh, smooth customer migration. Uh, to the cloud. So this is one way to move from on-site. And again, the uh, install base we have uh, across different countries is huge. So we have to move them uh, to the next generation. Uh, 
<coughs> so this is about innovation. This is about innovation because um, it is um, similar to how Apple um, enables people to, to build apps and, uh, and for Apple's, uh, Apple uh, devices. So we're going to do the same thing with MyCloud uh, uh, Link uh, to enable people to build communication apps on MyTel platforms. So it will be open for developers and non-developers. Um, in fact, it will be uh, the, the idea is to, to bring everybody uh, and to, to be able to develop through apps, through uh, API, through uh, microservices, in order to bring all the tools for the, the developers to, to build up applications, apps. Because again, the, the idea here is not to develop or to port MyCollab, for example, if you know the application. The idea is not to port MyCollab on the cloud. The idea here is to bring dedicated apps to solve customer issues, to solve uh, telephony issues on the customer side. So, um, what can we build with uh, with Cloudlink? Everything, every application, every apps we can have. So the idea here is uh, to build apps around telephony, around um, enable group uh, texts and calls, uh, notify user um, of appointments through SMS. Uh, do video and, and call conferencing. Any type of application uh, that can solve customer issues. So the, the idea here is to solve a, uh, a customer problem, a customer uh, need uh, through apps that can be easily deployed, that can be, so no need to, to deploy a server, no need to deploy uh, a technician on, on, on the customer premises. The idea, is, the idea here is only to get an apps that the customer will deploy himself because it would be easy to deploy, easy to install, easy to, to um, like an apps on, on a mobile. So, what is CloudLink? CloudLink is, um, is uh, three things. First of all, a gateway um, to get access to the cloud platforms. Cl cloud platforms is nothing but all the um, the APIs that we need to build up uh, application, and on the right side we have application and apps that will um, that, that will be available in, in that space. So CloudLink Gateway today it's a it's, it's a small box, and also it can be it will be embedded in the new generation of gateway that we are that will be provided for all our core control, and tomorrow it's going to be a software. So it's simple plug and play onboarding. Streamline at cloud administration, secured, and has an instant link to the to the cloud. So, and of course, it has an instant link to the latest uh, cloud clouding apps and the platforms. So, again, this is about uh, delivering better collaboration experience through um, through the platforms, through APIs, through um, uh, microservices, through open interface. Uh, to uh, collaboration f functions, and also we will take benefits of uh, some players on, on, on this space like uh, Amazon Web Services to help us develop uh, because they are well doing it. So we'll we'll use those those type of uh, players to, uh, to to scale and uh, to build apps around around application. So CloudLink uh, application is um, like I said, it is mostly uh, vertical apps uh, to address specific needs, specific customer needs on uh, telephony, on chat, on uh, third party, on workflow, whatever the, 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 the application is. So again, the idea is not to rebuild the whole UCC solution um, inside the, the, the cloud platform. The idea is really to solve customer um, problem, customer issues, customer needs, through apps, and depending on the partner, depending on the customer, it could be different type of apps. And what what we did is uh, we did a survey with with our partners, with our customers, and and we figure out uh, we had to design the first, the very first application, the very first apps. So we came to uh, a, a new application, a new apps. I should say apps rather than application. It could be confusing. So again. So the first apps that we, we, we built, thanks to our partners and customers, is OfficeLink. 
So this is nothing but a telephony apps uh, able to have a group chat, group telephony to, to solve a um, simple customer issue. Uh, because we, what we need is to, to, to have a phone, uh, and it's tailored to how small business work, uh, to have a better user experience, and it's very easy to deploy, easy to install, and it's a local solution. So again, this is not a UCC so full solution like we used to deploy in the past, and of course, don't uh, mi misunderstand what I'm, I'm saying. Some customers will still need um, application like Micolab in, in their en environment, and some will use this one, will, will use <coughs> Office Link, because the need will be only to deploy uh, on a mobile uh, uh, an apps that will solve their, their, their issue. So the idea here is, um, is to have a business phone uh, as mobile as you are, uh, stay connected uh, anywhere, any, any, any time, and um, simple and straightforward uh, usage. So everybody can, can, can deploy this, uh, this type of, uh, of apps. Everybody can configure it as an app. So simple to use, easy to manage, so it gives, it obviously gives give uh, new opportunities for, for this, uh, this type of business. So it, the use case could be um, warehouse environment, um, answer calls from anywhere, uh, view presence of all employees. So again, this is all about uh, shrinking UCC application into one apps, having uh, the essence of UCC but in one apps in order to have a, a very focused uh, apps for, for the customer. Single, sing, single touch touch transfer to right department, but this is, this is telephony features. Nothing, nothing new about it. But again, this is about having an apps easily uh, deployed uh, at, on the customer premises. Another use case, uh, field and delivery services, uh, touch, touch to talk simplicity, immediate uh, real-time co collaboration and streamlined group notification. Again, nothing, nothing fancy, but very uh, straightforward uh, apps. So, this is, uh, okay, this is about clouding. So I'm, I'm going to move now to another uh, step, and which is um, Internet of uh, Things scenario. Um, so now that we have an engine, now that we have some APIs, now that we have everything to um, trigger event, uh, could be apps, could be even coming from Internet of Things. So we uh, we have on the here on on, on the left, no, yeah. uh, we want to detect um, humidity, temperature, um, leaks, whatever. We have a, a bunch of sensors that uh, we want to, um, to get information from, from, from it. So we have a lot of sensors here, and what we want is through a middleware, through MyTel Cloudlink, we want to an analyze them in order to trigger the information through different types of um, application this time. So it could be through um, a contact center, it could be through an apps. Again, we are coming back to, uh, to an apps. It could be through uh, MyTel mass notification, which is another way to treat uh, and handle this type of, uh, of events. But the idea here is to give a machine a voice and to trigger information from those sensors. So we're going to, to look into different type of, uh, of scenarios with Internet of Things. So the first type of scenario we have, and this is something we, we have already implemented, is, is through, is, is through um, um, uh, MITAL uh, contact center. Uh, business. So we have an API now, it's, and we have an open media to, to treat uh, IoT use case. So the idea here is to listen to Internet of Things, uh, to ingest events from Internet of Things, uh, and could be connected anywhere. And again, what is important is real time. All those uh, all those sensors are connected in real time, and what we want is to trigger in the event in real time based on, on um, routing workflow. And then we can treat them through an agent as if it could be a call, an SMS, or um, whatever flows it could be.
So listen to the IoT and treat, treat them through an agent. So we can use um, different scenarios. So let's, let's figure out that we have, uh, for example, a leak and we are, we have, we are having an alarm generated through um, uh, a, a water sensor uh, station that sends an alarm. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be sent to uh, to the, uh, a call center. An agent is notified. Then the the customer is updated. That someone has uh, has been has been answering the the, the the event and is is now doing some something. It's a way to uh, to, to to know that uh, there's something on, ongoing. Then a technician. Uh, can be uh, notified through a uh, chatbot, <laughs> and then there, there, there will be a, a kind of a, a analysis with technician and expert inside the, 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 the entity, <coughs> and then we solve the problem. So this is one way to solve an event from, from a sensor. So again, this, is, <laughs> this, this has been generated by a sensor and communicated through, through an agent. So this is one scenario. Is in, there, there is multiple values of uh, scenario to give machine a voice. For example, site security. So we need to, for example, to product uh, our investment into a data center. So in that case, we will have um, various type of, of sensors. Uh, it could be uh, in order to, to detect temperature um, that is not operating well, door opening, uh, opening uh, unauthorized access, so all those um, sensors can be connected uh, to, to applications through IoT middleware, through uh, CloudLink. So the idea here is, again, uh, to trigger the event and to use application in real time. Would it be uh, through my contact center? Would it be through an, a dedicated apps? Would it be through mass notification? Each, each sensor has, um, has um, a, a different way to, to treat it. So this is one way to solve to solve the problem. Another example would be food safety. We want to protect, of course, uh, the food that is inside a, a, a fridge, which costs a lot of, uh, of money. So we want to monitor the, the fridge, make sure the temperature is okay, the humidity is okay. So again, uh, we need some sensors. We need to trigger event from uh, from those sensors. And then through different type of apps, different type of application, we can treat this, uh, this event in real time. Real time is key for this type of, uh, of event. And the last uh, example I have is environmental um, uh, management. And again, uh, the, the idea is to trigger event from, uh, from a humidity uh, uh, port, from uh, airflow uh, or temperature um, problems. And the idea is to treat those and to trigger those events as through, as through application. So this is about how we, um, um, and, and as a conclusion, how we trigger information, how we move uh, from our install base to, um, uh, to, to the cloud smooth, smoothly to the, to, to the cloud, and how we help our customer to build up new application, how we help uh, partners to sell uh, added value uh, for the future, knowing that we have a huge install base here uh, in Europe based on different call control. And one way to push uh, to, the future, to the future is to innovate and to bring this layer, which is uh, clouding. So um, I don't know if <coughs> there will be an, an open question, I guess, at the end. But I wanted to thank you, Feristopoli, for uh, listening to this uh, presentation. Thank you very much, Mr.